Hey guys, so welcome to another video. We've got uh, today is something that we get questions on a regular basis about different type of edging, different ways to shape your boards. Um, so, and, and specifically on this particular scene, I get a lot of people ask me how I round that corner. There's a lot of different ways to do it. there yep. how I round that corner you can do it with a jigsaw you can do it with a uh, you know a random orbital you can do it with a disc sander you know a handheld disc sander the way I do it I do it on this machine here which is a, a combination big belt and a, a, a nine inch disc this is a tool that you know we use all the time and it uh, it really is a, a great tool so I'll show you how I do this I've been doing it for so long that I tend to kind of speed up when I do it, but I'll do it nice and slow so you guys can see what's going on. Okay. So now you can, if if that is too random for you, you can draw, uh, you know, your your uh, radius on there and follow a line. I've been doing it for so long that I don't find that I really need to draw that radius. Just keep that thing moving because it's a flat disc and you just have to keep that thing moving. So sorry about my arm getting involved there uh, for a minute. But um, anyway, so that's the way I basically round my corners. Again, you may have your ways to do it, but this is a quick and easy way that I've been doing it for decades. So let's move on to the next step. All right, guys. So now um, I want to show what I do after I round the corners. I want to do at one end of this, I'm going to do the scalloping and I have a lot of people ask about that. Uh, and then I'm just going to do a bevel. Now, the thing about this uh, cedar fencing and sometimes a redwood fencing is this stuff's pretty Thin. So if you've got a 45 degree, this is our 45 degree chamfer bit, if you've got that and this sticks down beyond the surface of where that is, you're going to uh, be hitting your bench pad. Sorry I didn't warn you on that, son. Oh, you're good, Dad. So, this is what I made. I made myself a little a piece of little half inch MDF. I use this on a regular basis. I've had this for a long time. Just use some adhesive, some uh, spray adhesive on there. And I'm just going to use that to build it up. I can do both edges in one end and I'll just turn it around. So, I've got it set for a bevel right now. I'm just going to do half of this in a deep bevel. Um, and then the other half in a scallop. So here we go. That's probably not a big revelation to, uh, to any of you, but now I'm gonna use that same bit and I'm gonna do some scalloping. So I'm gonna set it down deeper I don't know, whatever looks right to you. There's no specific uh, wrong or right. And we'll just do some scalloping. Ready? So now normally on my scalloped boards, I wouldn't round the corners, but you certainly can. There's nothing wrong with that. It looks fine. Normally I don't round the corners unless I'm doing uh, the bevel. But um, again, 
doesn't look bad. In fact, we've even done it where we notched those corners with like a, a hole saw and scalloped that way too. It looks pretty cool. Anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. I'd normally, uh, all of my boards, I will actually uh, chamfer or bevel the backside of them as well. But um, anyway, so that's how you do your scalloping. So uh, we'll move on to the next step. All right, guys, so another edge that's pretty popular, a lot of people like it, um, is the broken edge look, where it's got, looks like there's pieces, of chips, uh, taken out of the sides and maybe kind of a random look on the top. I like more of the random look. Dad likes to be a little bit more um, um, uniform, uniform yeah. structured, okay. rigid. Yeah whatever anal anal yeah that's a good one but i like more of the random look and like i said we're going to use the bandsaw for this i really like the bandsaw because it's super quick and easy but again if you clamp it down on your bench you can use a jigsaw too i've done that too so uh some people like to draw them out and stuff first i'm i just don't care for that i like the more random look so i'm just going to show you guys a quick trick on how to do that So this gives it a little bit more of a, a broken edge look. Like I said, I like the random look. I probably could have added a couple more down here, but it's real simple. And generally the people that like this like the random look too. Also something to keep in mind is that when you do this, it's going to shorten your length of board obviously so if you had wording that was going to go all the way out to the edge it won't work on this so this is obviously you have to kind of uh compensate for the size of your sign and things like that so let's move on to the next step all right so now that we got it cut right it's still a little bit too sharp edges on on the around the edges so what i like to do is i'll take the random orbital with a, i believe this is an 80 degree and i'll just kind of make it random sand those off a little bit i started on here and then i'll actually go inside the v's that we cut just to give it a little bit of a bevel okay dad you ready yep all right
So as you guys can see, it kind of gives it a softer edge, more uh, like uh, wind worn. Um, and the nice thing about this is because it's random, like this little piece right here, I don't know, can you guys see that? If yep. you can see that, it's not perfect, but that's what we're looking for in this. We want it to be beat up looking and um, just really worn like it's been sitting there for 50, 100 years. That's the rustic look. Yeah, that's, that's what we're like. And that's what I like because I'm beat up and worn and rustic yeah so so um so that's this and then at the end of the video you guys are going to see them all sprayed and sanded and you'll get a good idea of how they look all right guys uh so another real popular edge that we did on the bear signs i believe we did them on the bear signs is just using the disc sander and again this for me i really like it it's random it's quick it's easy the only thing is you've got to clamp your board down because if you don't it will go flying and end up hitting your wife or your dog and they don't like that so um speaking of dog, oh, the dog yeah nelly <laughs> come on all right so depends on the wife <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah you're gonna pay for that one okay so so um so here we go again now one thing that i've i've figured out that dad taught me is don't be afraid to take some wood off don't go too light on it especially when it comes to to the sander so it kind of looks like this here we go So you do the one side, and you just flip it around. And you keep going. And then what you're going to want to do is take just a small piece of sandpaper and get any of this stuff off. But again, a nice random kind of a rustic look. And, um, and I, I, again, it's going to take up some of your board. So just make sure that you can fit whatever you want on your board before you do this. So there you go. All right, let's show you guys one more. All right, guys, so last but not least, the angle grinder. So this is a cuts all tool. This is the medium grit. And uh, man, if you guys haven't used these, they go through wood and flesh really, really fast. So you want to be careful, you know, wear your leather gloves, put your apron on. And by the way, first time I'm wearing this apron, this was given to me by our good friend Vernon Ekstrom. So thank you, Vernon. I love it, man. It's great. You got pockets for the microphone. It's all good. So you should always have an apron. This isn't like a real expensive leather apron, but you should definitely have an apron on. Um, face shield, man, almost, yeah, it should be mandatory. And then I like the paddle switch. So if something happens, you let go of it, it goes off, not just the on and off switch. Uh, it's a very dangerous tool, but it is really fun. So anyway, let's do some edges on this little piece of cedar with this. And uh, just, I gotta be really, really careful because it'll eat through this cedar in a heartbeat. Here we go. See if I can get it clamped before that thing stops. Almost 
Almost. Not Almost. quite. Ah. So, again, this isn't completely the optimum way to go, but it works. Just be safe, guys. Okay, so there it is. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna like spray all the edges on these, on the ones that we've done, and then we'll come back and we'll wrap it up, show you what these things look like when they're sprayed black and sanded off. Be right back. All right, guys, there it is. So we've got our four different boards that we did. Uh, mine was half scalloped, half beveled. So that just kind of gives you a, an, an idea of how to do that. Uh, this was done with the angle grinder. Uh, much, it's so similar to the disc sander that you might not even know. But anyway, this one was done with the angle grinder. Uh, really a lot of fun. A lot of fun. What do you got there? So we got, this one was done with the sander. And again, this looks, I'm kind of wearing black, but I'll, sh I'll have pictures of these too. This looks real similar to the angle grinder. It's just a little bit of more of a gradual uh, uh, look to me. But again very similar and then this is our broken edge right here and i like this one quite a bit especially with the uh using the uh sander on the edges just to soften it up a little bit it just looks really worn so there's a few ideas of different edges you can do but there's countless yeah there's countless. a whole bunch more that we didn't uh, that we didn't work on here but anyway we wanted to at least give you guys an idea of different things that you can do on your signs just to add a little uh, either rustic or or uniform look just depending on what you guys like and what your customers are gonna like so anyway um, thanks so much for watching we appreciate it if you have any questions please email me directly eric at makerwoodsign.com or or ryan with dave signs at gmail.com and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe. Um, anything you guys need will be on the website. Yep. Uh, anything we're missing? Guess that's it. Oh, also don't forget about our premium and executive memberships. That's so right. You can check those out too. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.